Let's start with the web page. The default is 192.168.0249. After we enter the IP address, we will see the login page. The default of username is admin, and password is VOIP. When we log in successfully, we will see the information of our company. And here is the function list on the left side. We can do some settings in this section. First is the root. We can set up uplink root and downlink root. Uplink means GSM to VOIP, and downlink means VOIP to GSM. Uplink has two options of fixed number and free dial, and the downlink has three options of one stage, fixed number, and free dial. Please do remember to add semicolon here in downlink, unless your mobile brand is Nokia. Second, in the system, we can see the Bluetooth status of our gateway and the last 10 call records. Our Bluetooth mobile has not paired yet, so we will see this covered. We can also do some settings in system setting, such as the volume, caller ID, or LAN answer. Third, the WAN setting. You may refer to your current network environment to configure properly. Here is the default IP and gateway of this device. Fourth, in a SIP setting, you can set up such a service domain, port, and other settings. But we don't need to fill them now because the task we are going to do is to call from IP to IP. Every time you download settings, please remember to press Submit button and save the setting you've done. You could also refer to the user manual for other functions. Now we are going to pair the Bluetooth mobile to our gateway. First, we turn on the Bluetooth of our mobile. Then we select Bluetooth settings and scan for devices. We can see GP712-1 right now. Select it. Some of the Bluetooth mobile will ask for password. If that's so, input the password 0000, then it will pair. As you can see, GP712-1 is connected to phone audio now. After the Bluetooth paired, you can see the connected status in the system status webpage. Now we can start with the test. We will do free dial first and fix number later. Here we select free dial in both uplink and downlink and add semicolon in plus rear blank in downlink. And we use SJ phone to make the test. After we down the setting, we press set button and save the setting. We will see information page appears later. It means the device is already reboot. First, we do the test of uplink. We are going to call from IP to IP by GP712. Now we are going to use our table phone to dial out to the pair Bluetooth mobile. After a dialing successfully, we will hear a voice of information. And then we can dial SIP account or IP. We can add pound key after the IP address so it will die out directly. You can see that the astray phone is ringing. It means the test is successful. After a while, we will see the call record appears in system status. Now we do the test of downlink. 
We use SJ phone to dial to the IP of our gateway, which is 192.168.0249. After the dialing successfully, we will hear a voice of intimation, and then we can dial the GSM number. See that the mobile phone is ringing. It means our test is successful. Here we select fixed number in uplink and input the IP address in a field of fixed number. And press set button. In downlink, we also select fixed number and input the destination GSM number. Again, SMI colon here in downlink, then press set button and save the setting. We are going to use our table phone to dial out to the pair Bluetooth mobile. After the dialing successfully, it will directly forward a call to SJ phone. You can see that the SJ phone is ringing. Then we do the test of downlink. We use SJ phone to dial to the IP of our gateway, which is 192.168.0249. After our dialing successfully, it will directly forward the call to destination GSM number. You can see that the mobile phone is streaming. It means our test is successful. <laughs>